called one of the most difficult racket sports of all time, squash. And right now, Houston is hosting the World Junior Squash Championships for the first time ever. Okay, this is a very big deal. The event brings together world-class athletes from 36 countries, all competing for the top spot. Joining us in studio are team players Rishi Srivastava, Rustin Weiser, and from Team Pakistan, Huzaifa Ibrahim, and the owner of the Houston Squash Club, Jahan Seb Khan. Welcome to all four of you. It's great to meet you. Some of you, by the way, have started playing squash at the age of five years old. That's incredible. Uh, let's start with you, Jahan Zeb. Why is squash called the most difficult racket sport? Uh, it's a tough sport. It's, uh, it's tough on your body, and uh, it's, uh, you have to put a lot of effort, and it's a very less breaks in between the points, and uh, it goes to the 11 points uh, each game, and each rally lasted more than a minute. And then if you have a very long rally, you have like maybe less than 10 seconds to just get back again for the next point. Wow. There, wow. It's, it looks very difficult. And as we saw on um, the screen, you could see sort of the video. For everyone else, it kind of looks like racquetball. Can you maybe explain what differentiates the sports? It's a huge difference between the racquetball and the squash. We have uh, certain lines you have to play in, uh, and the ball doesn't bounce. You have to hit really hard to get bounce. And uh, you cannot hit on the top. You cannot hit on the, above the sidelines. So that makes it more harder to play the sport. Okay. It looks very intense, and I know there's not a lot of downtime to recover. Huzaifa on the back row. So you started playing at five years old. You're part of Team Pakistan. What attracted you to the sport? Um, my father wanted me to play squash, and so he took me to the squash course, and like, I started playing when I was five. And then I came to Houston in 2015, um, and I have been with John Zabe since then. It's fantastic. And Rustin, you started playing at 10? 12. 12. And so did you have a similar story? Did your parents want you to play, or did you just discover it on your own? Uh, I discovered it on my own. So I played tennis for a while, since I was around five. And then I went into the squash house, because my local country club has it, and it was air conditioned one summer. Yeah. So I started <laughs> playing then. And Rishi, describe to us, with the World Championships in town, what's it like to go head-to-head -head with people from all over the world? Because I can imagine, when you're playing with your peers here in Houston, you're playing with the squash club, your skill levels, you kind of have an understanding of your opponent's skill level, right? Yeah. But the World Championships, it seems like this might be kind of intense because you're playing against these players for the very first time. Yeah, exactly. It's just you get really exposed to a lot of the junior players in the United States. Like, Rustin and I, we've played each other a bunch, and and so are the other people on our team. You play them a lot just through the circuit, but when you play at the world stage, it just gives you a different level of exposure, and you get just this, just to get to see how everyone is playing, the level there is for everyone. It's just a different experience. Very cool. And you're actually from Philadelphia, is that, that correct? I'm from Philadelphia, yeah. Okay, so you travel to participate in these competitions. Yeah. Do you find that the intensity, again, it must be stressful, I can't even imagine. Do you, do you feel like it gives you an extra kick in your step? Yeah, for sure. Just witnessing the level that all these different countries are producing, how hard everyone's working, it just gives that extra edge in practice to just keep going. Because you know somewhere, somewhere else in the world is just training really hard, so it's just it's super exciting. And so we have the World Junior Squash Championship showing up in Houston for the very first time, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is the first time in the history of squash we are hosting boys and girls team event together. So that's uh, all the credit goes to Houston and the U.S. squash that we made it this happen uh, with the help of WSF, the World Squash Organization. So that's a huge thing for Houston to be on in the map. Oh, absolutely. And Jahan Zab, talk to us about the history of the Houston Squash Club, because we hear a lot about, well, everyone's playing pickleball these days, right? It's called like the fastest growing sport. But squash is also gaining a lot of momentum. And this was one of those games that I kind of played as a kid. We didn't really understand the rules. But are you seeing growth, uh, not just here in Houston, but around the world? Yeah, it is, yeah it's growing massively, especially in the US, it's growing Big time, now we qualify for the Olympic in 2028, so squash will be a part of the Olympic. So this is, this is a huge news. That is fantastic, yeah. congratulations. And these Olympic players sports. will be one of, the, one of them to represent USA and Pakistan in four years time. So they have four years to train really hard to be there. Okay, that's, that's incredible. Seriously, so the three of you then, you, you all have your sights set on the Olympic games in 2028? Yeah, yeah. yeah. hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. What does it take to prepare for something like that? I mean, just a ton of hard work. Um, 
all of us, I know, like I said, I play with Rishi all the time in tournaments and just squads with the U.S. team, but we're all working so hard. And like Rishi said, when we came here, we can just see everyone's working super hard. So it's, cause it's gonna be a lot of hard work. Yeah, so what's next for the World Championships? I understand tonight is the quarterfinals. Yeah, tomorrow the semis and then the final day after tomorrow, and then they will start the team event uh, July 18th, where USA is one of the favorite to win the title, hopefully. And can people come watch? Like, can Yeah, yeah. They so can the public, come. they're welcome to join? Yeah, they're welcome to join. Anytime they can come, starting from today. And the event, uh, team event final is on July 23rd. Okay, here's uh, some, some video just of the opening ceremony and again 36 countries from around the world are represented at that's this right. world championship that's right okay well gentlemen thank you so much for stopping by houston life i think it is just phenomenal what you're doing i feel like we should get we should some rackets <laughs> <laughs> we should go play we should go watch uh gentlemen thank you so much thank you thank yeah, you. yeah Welcome. congratulations thank you. we're going to keep an eye out for you all on the uh on the olympic games for 2028. by the way if you'd like to learn more about squash and how houston is dominating in the game we have pro provided a link on our website houstonlife.tv you can connect with jahan seven go join the Houston Squash Club.